Guys, perfectionism sucks. Why do we always want to hold on to perfectionism? Because it's our security net. We as human beings love certainty and safety. So when we've got all our ducks lined up, we feel safe. It's like those speakers that go around and you know, they've got their notes and they've got their projector and their PowerPoint and they feel safe because of that. What about if you had that certainty and safety within you? I remember seeing a video on YouTube about this famous person and he did a presentation and there was press, there were thousands of people, it was all going to be on the TV and he comes in and he's got his clicker and he's got his prompter there and he goes to start talking and the prompter wasn't working. So he's going, it's not working. It's not working. And he walked off the stage. That's how powerful the draw to certainty and safety is. But if we've got these tools within us, that we are able to have that certainty, to be able to serve your room. And guys, when you present, it's not about you, it's about your audience. We have the honor and privilege to have people in front of us. And so it's about being able to serve the people in the room effectively. When we hold on to perfectionism, it's boring guys, it's boring. Have that childlike curiosity, embrace mistakes because the more mistakes you make, the more you're growing. I've seen some amazing business people who want to go out there and do workshops and present, and they're getting all their content ready and so they're holding on to their content. And what I say to them is progression over perfection. Get out there, make it happen. Yes, have your content, but you don't have to get everything perfect to be able to put yourself out there and go and serve the people that are waiting for you to help them.